What's up action figure collectors? It's been a while since I've done an update on my action figure collection and I know I have not been doing any toy hunt videos lately because of the whole pandemic. But even before the pandemic started, I, I kind of like lost my motivation to make toy hunt videos. But I still do have a passion for collecting and I've been collecting quite a few things, uh, mostly online and some of the stuff in stores before the pandemic started. So uh, in this video, I'm gonna be showing of various action figures that I've been collecting during and before the pandemic. And starting off with this video is gonna be some of the DC Multiverse figures from McFarlane Toys. Um, I'm very familiar with Todd McFarlane. I've collected quite a few of his Spawn figures when I was a small kid, well into my teenage years. And then I just stopped. I stopped collecting his action figures because I, I think I started to get more into the Marvel uh, the Marvel Legend stuff. And I just haven't really been keeping up with a lot of the Todd McFarlane stuff. But uh, it's funny, many years later, he, he pulls me back in with these DC Multiverse figures because now he has, uh, the, I guess, the rights or the license to actually do the DC characters now since Mattel is no longer making them. Um, I also have a few DC figures from Spin Masters, which are made for the smaller children. I will show those off after these. But uh, all of these I got from like three different retailers. I got these two Wonder Womans here from the Target website during the pandemic. Superman I got from the Best Buy website during the pandemic because Best Buy was selling him for $16 at the time, which is a lot cheaper <laughs> than what they normally go for. And these guys right here, Batman in the Hellbat armor and the Batman who laughs, I got them from GameStop like just before everything starts shutting down because of the whole virus thing. So I'll show these off close to the camera here. And um, I was on the fence about getting these two because I was like, man, I don't know, they cost quite a bit of money and they look cool and all but I started watching some video reviews and I was still on the fence about it and I was like all right fine I'll buy them so I decided to go back to uh, GameStop and pick these up and I did buy um, the comics that they are involved in because I was curious uh, so I did pick up one of the Dark Knight Metals comic right here that's tells the origin of the Batman Who Laughs. And I got the hardcover of the Batman Who Laughs by Scott Snyder. Uh, yeah, Scott Snyder. So I got those two books. Because after I found out about that character and found out like who he really is, and I was like, oh, that's interesting. I would like to you know, read the comics that he's involved in. So I actually bought the comics, um, even though I'm pretty late to that story because I have not been keeping up with a lot of um, DC and Marvel comics of today since I've just kind of like fell off the comics for a while. Uh, so here's the Superman 1000. All right. 16 bucks for this guy, Best Buy. At the time, the price went back up, unfortunately. <laughs> And the two Wonder Woman figures that I bought from the Target website. And these are the Wonder Woman from uh, Wonder Woman 1989. Or no, sorry. I apologize. 1984. 1984. I, I have 89 on the brain for some reason. I, I must be thinking of the Batman. <laughs> that Bat The original uh, Batman film. Uh, but yeah, Wonder Woman 1984. Which uh, I hope does not get delayed again. It already got delayed because of the pandemic but i uh, can't wait to watch the sec the sequel because i did like the first movie and i'm curious to see what cheetah looks like really curious to see what cheetah looks like all right so that's all of the uh current dc multiverse figures i've been collecting so far and now i'm gonna get to some of the dc spin master figures all right, so if you couldn't tell, these DC Spin Master figures are intended for smaller children. And they're not really made for adult collectors, but there's some sort of appeal to them that kind of made me want to buy a few of these. And I think it's mostly because they kind of remind me of some of the old school Kenner toys. So that's why I decided to pick up a few of these. 
and I don't plan on picking up the entire wave, just uh, sort of cherry picking which ones I kind of like. So I did get this Walmart ex exclusive three pack that comes with Batman in a green suit, Robin, and of course Killer Croc with his painted wrist wraps. And I say painted because he is sold individually, but the wrist wraps are not painted. They're just all green, which is weird. And I'll show you the back of this. And there's some cool artwork on the side of this as well, right there. I'm not sure if there's any on the other side, sort of. Just showing more of the scenery, I guess. Um, Alright, so I did get tact uh, Tactical Batman and the Joker and a special two-pack that was like... Uh, both figures for 15 bucks from Amazon, which is a sweet deal. I'll show you the back of this. All right, and finally I got these deluxe figures, I guess, that cost a little bit more. So I got King Shark that comes with the cool armor. And I'll show you the back of that. That's what it looks like when he's wearing the armor. And the Superman and Darkseid 2-pack, which I got from the Walmart website, I believe. So, that's right, I forgot to mention where I got the other ones. So, okay, I, this I got from the Walmart website uh, during the pandemic. This guy I got from Amazon during the pandemic. These two also from Amazon during the pandemic. And this was right before the pandemic. I just walked right into Walmart and bought this. All right, so uh, that's it for most of the DC um, stuff, I guess, that I've been collecting lately. I guess I'll show you some of the Marvel, Power Rangers, Aliens, and some Mortal Kombat stuff. So when it comes to Marvel Legends, I love collecting them, but this year I find myself kind of uh, chilling out on collecting a lot of Marvel Legends. Um, these were like the only two I got this year so far. I got Cosmic Ghost Rider back in January, and I got Stan Lee figure back in February. And um, this guy, Stan Lee, I got him from the Hasbro Post website, and they shipped him out to me super early. And I was like, oh man, this is sweet. I got Stan Lee Marvel Legends. And I, it did not come with this. I bought this separately, this protective case for action figures. I bought this off of eBay, I believe. And um, if you just look up like protective um, action figure case or plastic box case or whatever on eBay, they have a few. They have a few made for like WWE figures, but you can store your uh, Marvel Legends figures in there as well. And I wanted to buy one for Stan Lee because uh, of course I want to keep them. I want to keep them protected, of course. Alright, and Cosmic Ghost Rider, which is a awesome, awesome Marvel Legends figure. Um, if you are familiar with the character, you would know that is actually Frank Castle there. Who got transformed into a Ghost Rider. Alright, so that's it for the Marvel Legends I've been collecting this year. Uh, I been seeing quite a few Marvel Legends that have been getting released and there's been so many good ones. Just so many good ones but like I said I've just been taking a chill pill on collecting Marvel Legends this year and just went for these two so far. Alright so I really liked what Hasbro's been doing with the Power Rangers Lightning Collection. I've been collecting quite a few of these. Right now I'm currently up to around 14 or 15 action figures in my Power Rangers Lightning Collection, and these are my latest additions. Um, this guy, the Black Ranger with the Dragon Shield, I found this guy at Walgreens, like, right when the pandemic was starting, because I went into Walgreens searching for toilet paper, and there was no toilet paper, of course, but I went over to the action figure section, and I found this guy. And these three right here I ordered off of HasbroPulse.com. So I did not have to go out and buy these. These were shipped out right to me. So I got the Dino Charge Gold Ranger, the Mighty Morphin Red Ranger, and of course, Lord Draken. And 
then I think I'm almost caught up on the original five. Um, trying to remember. I do have Kimberly, the Pink Ranger, and now I have Red. And technically I have Black, but it's not the standard Black. It's the Black with the Dragon Shield, so I'm pretty sure they're going to release another one. So I guess I still do need the Black Ranger. So I need uh, Black, uh, Blue, and Yellow to complete the original five Mighty Morphin team. Uh, Yellow, I did order off of the GameStop website because they are currently having a special sale on all, on all of their collectibles. So Yellow is on the way. And then all I will need is Black and Blue Ranger to complete the original five. And I do also have the White Ranger, but I don't have green. And I have many, many other various figures from the Lightning Collection. All right, so up next is two different Scorpion figures from Mortal Kombat. One from Mortal Kombat 11 and the other one from Mortal Kombat 3 Ultimate or Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. And I bought these because Scorpion is one of my favorite characters from Mortal Kombat. And I have been a, a big fan of the franchise since the first game. And these were also on sale. At the time, they were on sale on Amazon, so I was like, wait a minute. They are affordable. They are not super expensive. I might as well go for it. But unfortunately, um, as always, the price went back up on these figures. Uh, so I got them at a good time. <laughs> um, and I got these during the pandemic, I think. Yeah, I did. And I'm really happy I got this Scorpion from Storm Collectibles. I would really like to get their Sub-Zero and have him go with the Scorpion. But for now, I'm I'm good. I'm good with just having this uh, Scorpion figure. Get away from her, you beep! So, this 40th anniversary Alien collection I bought from Walmart just before the pandemic started. And these are exclusive to only Walmart. And I guess these are somewhere between uh, being attended for children and adults just because of the way they're made and since they're aliens uh, I guess they're going to appeal to adults more because let's face it us adults are the ones who grew up on these alien films um, even though you probably want to go for the NECA figures because NECA has been doing an outstanding job with their aliens and predator action figure line so you probably want to go for those more uh, than these um, these, on the other hand, they very much remind me of the old school Kenner alien figures that I used to own when I was a kid. And that's why they kind of appeal to me a lot is because they do remind me of the Kenner figures from back in the day. And, um, I got the queen here, which is all in purple <laughs> instead of black, but I did see some repaints out there of people, uh, repainting her in black. Cool artwork of alien, which looks shockingly familiar to the art style that's in the uh was it top cow or image i want to say top cow yeah it was i think it was top cow comics and it was at this very moment i knew i had to correct myself in this video it was actually dark horse comics and not top cow comics don't know how in the world i can forget dark horse comics since i actually own a few of those comics in my comic collection anyways continuing on so I'll show up these two packs here. And these were pretty affordable. These were like, oh man, I think they were like 10 bucks for these two packs. Yeah, like 10 bucks a piece. But the Alien Queen was being sold for like 20 bucks, I think. And you push down on her crown or her head. And you see the extra jaw pop out, which is pretty cool. Very much like the old school Kenner one that I used to have, where you... She had like a like a, a plastic soft piece under her crown and you push on it and the jaw piece pops out. Man, I miss those old school Kenner figures. I do know that NECA is remaking those Kenner ones and making them like a thousand times better. But uh, I have not collected any of them yet. I would love to. It's just that uh, I guess I'm just being more patient about how I go about collecting certain figures these days. Lastly, the final portion of this video of what I've been collecting during the pandemic is this Nemesis soft statue from Resident Evil 3. And I bought this guy 
when the Resident Evil 3 remake was being released because I was just getting into all of the hype and excitement for that game since this is one of the games that I grew up playing on the original PlayStation even though I like Resident Evil 2 a lot more and I'll show you what the soft statue looks like so this just lifts up like that there we go and there's Nemesis comes with his rocket launcher which looks pretty nice so another reason why I got this guy is because I actually wanted the Nemesis statue, which looks amazing, but that statue is going over, or at least close to $1,000. And I was like, well, now wait a minute. I don't think I could afford that statue. And uh, I decided to get this soft statue that only costed around like 64 bucks at the time. Now the price did go back up on him. So if you find him, you might not be able to find him for the same price that I found him for. But um, he's pretty much like the most affordable nemesis that was being sold online at the time. I was like, okay. So obviously I cannot afford that $1,000 kick-ass statue. But at least I can get this guy who's only like around 60-something bucks. Even though it's a soft statue. And it's not as detailed as that other statue. But still, it is the classic nemesis as I remember him from the original game. And not the remake. And if you want my opinions about the remake, um, I felt like the remake was very short because they cut out a lot of uh, locations that was in the original game. However, I still had a blast playing it because I pretty much always have a blast when I play these Resident Evil games. And that completes this video of various action figures that I've been collecting either during or before this pandemic. Hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I do hope you guys are staying safe out there. And to the other action figure collectors out there that are still making Toy Hunt videos, I salute you because you guys are still going out there in this pandemic and making those videos. So I do enjoy watching the Toy Hunts, even though I have not been doing any of my own recently because, um, you know, the whole pandemic and also if I just haven't really been motivated to do a lot of toy hunts lately but every now and then i might um upload a video showing off stuff that i've been purchasing from like the past few months or weeks and uh yeah stay safe out there guys see you in the next video later and stay awesome